When producing a casting from any of the bonded sand molding processes, an expendable sand mold is commonly used. A typical mold consists of at least two halves that when closed together at the parting line form a cavity in the desired shape of the casting. Each half of a mold is made using a mold pattern. When the two halves of the mold are closed, they are first clamped together and weighted down before they are filled with molten metal. For a mold to be effective, it needs to be strong enough to withstand the high temperatures of the molten metal and the forces of the molten metal flowing and solidifying through the mold. This strength is generated by combining sand, the primary raw material used in a sand mold, with a suitable binder and other additives. One method for classifying bonded sand molds is by the type of binder used. On this basis, bonded sand molding can be broadly classified into clay bonded sand systems and chemically bonded sand systems. Clay bonded sand systems include green sand systems and loam or dry sand molds. Chemically bonded sand systems include organic binder systems like no-bake systems and shell process and inorganic binder systems like sodium silicate systems and cement mold systems. To better understand a bonded sand mold, it is important to know the parts of the mold and each part's function. The parts of a bonded sand mold include the gating system, which is composed of the filling system and the feeding system. Additional features may include the core, breaker core, vents, chaplet, and filter. All of these parts contribute to how molten metal travels through a mold to produce a sound quality casting. 